Hi. Today we will finish the matte painting tutorial and we will focus on the destruction. So we will be tracking a few more places in the plate. Go to Photoshop, make a matte painting of the destruction and bring it back into Nuke. So last time we focused on the matte painting, which was the background. Let me see if I can add my viewer here. Yeah. Let me just disable this. This was the last thing that we did. The only thing that I changed is I extended the matte painting, which is still a work in progress. I'm still not finished with this. Um, yeah. Alright, so the smoke part, it's just. Um, some footage that I took from uh, you can find it online on YouTube there's a lot of smoke footage that you can use you can download them uh, render them render them as TIFF files and bring them into Nuke and the house destruction alright so what I did is very important you have to go to the first frame you add a right node and you export just one frame of the plate. The destruction is going to be here. Then I went to Photoshop and of course you need to know the setup of your plate. As you can see it's overcast so you go to Google and you search destruction pictures of, of houses with, a, with an overcast uh, setup. Um, so for example this picture here, as you can see, it's not overcast, but it still works pretty good. Um, let me just go back, import it, and as you can see, the picture is. Um, wait a minute, it's, all right. It's not very high res, but it's almost the same size as my uh, background house here. So I'm not going to zoom in or I'm not going to do any of that kind of stuff. So the resolution is going to be good enough for this situation. So the first thing I did is I um, I only take the part that I need. First I need to do this. All right. Back to the lasso tool. This is what I need. Control J and delete the layer. So I have this here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. And in my original, let me see here. It's this one, I think. Yeah. I uh, use the clone stamp tool to remove um, these kind of uh, watermarks. So you can take your time doing that if you want, or you can find a better image. I'm going to delete this with the magic wand tool. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it because you know what you have to do. right like that so um, the first thing that I did I added a mask and with the brush tool with a um, black color I can work non-destructively so I can take a much harder brush and start painting away what I don't need And what you can also do is uh, you can even paint detail with it. For example, um, I can 
paint a specific pattern like this for example instead of just doing it straight I can go like this for example again instead of going straight which is not very realistic I can paint this kind of dents you simulate the destruction All right. you can do your color correction uh, here in Photoshop I can do that just a little bit I can um, press Ctrl U and we can take away the saturation because the plate doesn't have a lot of color uh, the contrast is too much as you can see so I like to play with these black and white points to make them a little bit better alright the blur I'm going to do that in uh, a nuke because this image is far too sharp as you can see alright we get something like this what I also like to do is I like to lower the opacity just a little bit so that I can mix this image with the atmosphere of the background just a little bit not too much okay now what I also like to do is give this image um, well some depth so if I double click on it I have this bevel and emboss layer I can choose oops, down and you can see it simulates the shadow and it gives it a lot more depth okay you can specify the depth if you want something like that you can soften it up you can even um, let's see uh, make this a little bit not that black it should color it you see so uh, I'm trying to match this kind of black can I click on it yes so the black levels are almost the same and I press OK now I have this white stuff the highlights which I don't want so I'm going to duplicate the layer with uh, Ctrl J and I'm going to remove on one layer this one the, the background so the original one I'm going to remove this FX button oops okay then this one disable the effect so I only have this and I'm going to click on the layer mas mask on this layer but first of all I need to right click and say rasterize alright so I have this layer with the highlights and this one without without the effects and I'm going to add a new layer mas mask on it and I'm going to paint away with black this stuff alright so I'm keeping the shadow part I have this one and this one is on top so this way I'm going to create a lot more depth as you can see this is before and this is with of course you can play even with the opacity and you can determine how much shadow you want or how much depth you want over there and this is what I always always use this kind of technique everywhere so I can delete this for now and activate my matte painting same technique then I put then I'm starting to combine pictures I have this one I'm going to add this one I'll lower the opacity here a bit and so on and I didn't do anything different it's always the same thing and I just added uh, a bunch of uh, photos and I try to match the color and depth and so on what, let's see what happens if I enable this
I'm just experimenting, seeing what uh, what looks okay, what doesn't. You can even play with the angle, uh, the light. Um, highlights. I can even remove the highlight. Oh, okay, that's better. That's better. Size. Depth. Maybe. Let's see what this is doing. All right. Let's match this one with uh, the surrounding blackness like that um, opacity of the black and bevel on off I don't know maybe maybe yes maybe not you choose so once you have this, you can start to um, export this. Um, you can export one image and then use Rotos, or I like to use. I like to save them separately. So um, I would turn them off, and I start to turn them on here. Okay, this is the house. So I'm going to save this as a uh, TIFF file. Um, TIFF, and when you save it. No. Wait. When you save it, uh, don't forget to turn this on. Save transparency, and keep this uh, like this, and then you save it. Back into Nuke. So we have. We can delete this. Um, I'm going to take this house, and I'm going to import the destruction of the house which is um, this one All right. Oops. okay so we have the back plate and this destruction uh, matte painting okay the first thing we need to do is to track this um, part of course it's very important that you track the area where you want your matte painting okay don't start tracking it over here doesn't make sense. I'm going to add a planar tracker. Double click on it and I'm going to take this Bezier tool. Uh, this one. And I start to draw my tracking area. Make sure the perspective match matches like that. And then you just push this one and you can spec specify uh, from where to where and it's important that you start to track from your first frame and then you say OK done OK so you can check your tracking if you like so once, you, once you're done with tracking um, you need to export the tracking data and you can do that by going to let's see tracking and we have this corner pin 2D relative you click on create and you have this uh, this node here which you can attach to your matte painting alright um, one thing you need to know whenever you're going to combine wait let me just put a merge node here merge so this is going to be my background this is going to be my foreground 